Consider the functions h and k, ooh, Harry Callis, rest in peace, given by h of x equals ln of x plus 2 plus ln of x plus 5, and k of x equals ln of x plus 5. In the xy plane, what are all the x coordinates of the points of intersection of the graphs of h and k? This is just fancy talk for set these guys equal to each other. So what I'm going to have is I have an ln of x plus 2 plus ln of x plus 5 equals ln of x plus 5. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Now, I guess what I could do, I, I could approach this two different ways. Okay. I'm going to approach this in the n unnecessary complicated way. But it, it's good because it, it's, it's going to be uh, helpful for both. Complicated way. Okay, now keep in mind, ln is the same thing as log base e, so it follows all the log rules. So you can combine these two, since this is adding by multiplying the inside. So what we have is ln of x plus 2, x plus 5, parentheses, equals ln of x plus 5. If you have an ln on the left and a single ln on the right, if you just take e of both sides, all the lns cancel out, and now you're left with x plus 2, x plus 5 equals x plus 5. So this is a FOIL problem. FOIL that out. x squared plus 5x plus 2x plus 10 equals x plus 5. x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals x plus 5. Subtract x and subtract 5. x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Use the zero product property to factor that out, and you'll get x plus 1, x plus 5 equals 0. What that means is your possible zeros using the zero product property is going to be negative one and negative five. Now, before we come up here in circle C, ln is tricky because you're never allowed to have an ln of zero and you're never allowed to have an ln of a negative number. If I were to take negative five and go up here and plug that into the very first ln that I see, I would get ln of negative five plus two is negative three. That's no good. You can't have an ln of negative 3. You can't have an ln of negative anything or a 0 for that matter. So negative 5 is no good. The answer is B. Now, that was the complicated way, the way that you would do this 90% of the time. Now, the other 10% of the time is uncomplicated because I noticed something right off the bat. And if you're wondering, why couldn't you have done this in the first place? Listen, this is YouTube. The more time that I use doing these problems, the more money I get. If you notice right away that you have LN on the left and LN on the right, they just cancel each other out because you can subtract LN of X plus 5 from both sides. So you have LN of X plus 2 equals nothing. So you take the e to the of both sides. That makes that ln go away, leaving you with x plus 2. Anything to the 0th is 1. Subtract 2 from both sides. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, just like we got right here. And you don't have to worry about the negative 5 ruining everything. Uh, you're allowed to plug in negative 1. You're allowed to plug in negative 1. All is well. The reason why this ended up weird is because this problem that I created, I wasn't thinking, and I made ln of x plus 5 twice. But you know what? This gave us two different ways of looking at it. And boy, did I have fun. Hope this helps.